Well, it was the summer of 2009 when we first met Emily, and she had just finished first grade, and she'd really struggled. She was on an IEP for some learning um, delays, and it seemed like the classroom was just going way too fast for her. It wasn't that easy. We had to do, like, math papers, and I didn't know the stuff. She was diagnosed in second grade with dysgraphia and a nonverbal learning disorder. So there are, you know, many things that go into it, but we didn't seem to be getting through to anybody. Annie was pretty discouraged when she came in. She just felt like Emily had had some, a rough start. Delivery was difficult. They always knew things were a little bit different for Emily, and mom referred to it as Emily time. At home, we just know there's an Emily time. You can't quite expect her to get ready at the same pace as everybody else or learn things at the same speed. When we left here, we both slept soundly. We, we just knew we were, we were no longer you know, alone in this. When we first tested her, her handwriting was not legible. She really struggled with just recognizing letters and the sounds that they make, and so we kind of had to start back at square one. You know, anytime you're working with a student like Emily, there's some concerns when she first comes in because we know there's things outside of just the academic concerns. And so anytime you're approaching that with a family, you want to set realistic expectations. And so what was realistic for Emily was a little bit questionable in the beginning. A number is divisible by two if it is even. It's a slow process, it doesn't happen overnight, but she's getting there one step at a time. We know that the journey will probably be slower. Emily will still have Emily time. She's still um, learning and getting along in school and doing really well. We were at church and the kids get up there in the front and they start singing and I can tell that she is reading the, the words off the cue cards. She, it's not just memorization, she's actually reading them. And when we asked her, you know, when did you learn to read? I learned to read at Sylvan. Seeing her do it on her own, though her grades aren't straight A's like she would like them to be, she's so proud of herself and it's so fun to see her glow with that excitement and pride of being able to do it and know that she did it on her own. It has been a struggle for her and nobody likes to see their kids struggle. she's not struggling anymore. I'm getting good grades now. I was close to the honor roll this year. We're so proud of you, Emily. You've always had such a big smile on your face and you love coming to Sylvan and we love to see you each time that you're here. And all the hard work and the great attitude that you have, we just, we love you and we're so proud of you.